Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. Let's go to the next, say Mars, Mangal. Mars is the warrior among the Grahas. Mars represents that martial spirit. Mars represents the ability, aggression. Mars represents fighting ability. Mars represents fire. Okay. Mars uh, is the general among the uh, army. Virat okay. Kohli. Sure, he has a very strong Mangal. All sportsmen who are into physical sports will have a strong Mars. It's impossible to be in physical sports, whether it's cricket, football or anything, without a strong Mars. Or you, the military? Ah, military too. Police, military, etc. Okay. All. These are all governed by Mars, strong Mars. Uh, so Mars becomes very powerful when it is in Makar. Makar is Capricorn. And becomes very weak when it is in Cancer. Okay. Cancer is uh, Karkat Rashi. Because it's governed by Moon, so it becomes, it's not particularly a very Graha that... Uh, and that's emotional or things like that, too watery. Okay. Mars connects to certain deities. You know, the first deity is Hanumanji. Okay. Then there is Kandha or Murugan, who's the general of the army. Okay. But Mars also connects to Narasimha of the Vishnu avatars. Mars also connects to Bhagalamukhi among the Dasamaha Vidyas. Now, which, which one? Bhagalamukhi Devi. Okay, with the Samahavidyas. Which specific form it will connect to depends on the horoscope. All these are warrior deities. All these are warrior deities. It, Mars also connects to Chamunda. It's a very fierce form of the mother. But it depends on certain other combinations, not standalone. Okay. Uh, when Mars is strong, an individual, they are normally capable of very, not just physically strong, but they also, what I've seen is that there's a confidence in this physicality. Okay, they're very confident, and that also makes them pure Mars. I'm talking about so there is self control also. But pure Mars is very rare. The moment Mars is touched by a few other grahas, behavior will change. For example, if Mars has any contact with Rahu, it becomes like a warlike condition. Yuddha, Yuddha Yoga. Okay, there. Put them into a conflict. Bas, wo to, matlab, straight they'll go into it. Singular Mars will be very self-controlled. It will only enter if at all is needed. Just as much as it is needed to get result, it will come out. But Mars combined with other things will behave differently. Is this related to Manglik? Certain positions of Mars make an individual Manglik. Is it true that... When you marry a Manglik, it's bad for the partner and all these. Yeah. Like, it's, they, okay. According to astrology. Yeah. So, but there are ways to negate that also. Do you want to address that later in the episode? Or we'll, right we'll just briefly touch upon it, but not too much detail. So basically, uh, before I go to that, so Mars, when it becomes weak, uh, it can have, first of all, there could be, uh, actually Mars also represents blood, by the way. Okay, so there could be blood related problems, plus there will be a weak constitution. Okay, and again, when a graha is weak, it is fundamentally insecure. So that individual will have certain degree of insecurity with respect to his own physical strength. And that can manifest in very weird ways, by the way, which means sometimes what happens is if you're insecure about certain things, to cover up your insecurity, you may try to be proactively more aggressive. So a stronger Mars will have more self-control because he's confident of his power. A weaker Mars, even at the slightest amount of disturbance, ha ha, chalo, marpeet karta kuch. Something like that. will try to behave in a way that is very, you know, aggressive. It's basically because deep down there's an insecurity. So you have to kind of prove more to yourself subconsciously. No, no, I am very strong. That psychology works with the grahas. Through the individual. Okay. With Mars, we have this idea that it is uh, very commonly called as Mangalik. Mangalik is basically certain combinations of Mars are present in the horoscope, whether they're in the 7th house, 8th house, couple of other years are there. So that causes a disturbance in the married life. Previously, it used to be believed that it will cause death to the spouse. Today, mostly divorce or separation. Okay, But there are uh, rituals and pujas that uh, can be done to pacify that. 
or there are um, uh, combinations for example normally what they do is that there's a horoscope matching that can be done whether that other individual also has similar mangalik dosha so it kind of cancels it out to a degree okay not fully but to a degree so basically you'll still fight but stay together <laughs> <laughs> so okay. that kind of thing and then there are cancellations of yogas also there in chart which is another aspect just because the mars is in a certain position it's showing mangalik it may not show the result if there are some other combinations present so like this okay but mars is um, uh, uh, so all things related to military police etc is governed by mars and the deities that i mentioned these are the ones who can control mars if it is weak if it is negative if it needs some other disturbances manifest in it then we approach these deities and we worship them okay like for example hanuman ji gives you self belief yeah hanuman ji see deities are more powerful than the grahas remember this always so when you are approaching a devata for a specific graha related problem he can solve that problem but if you approach the devata for spirituality then he goes even deeper into spirituality he will take you beyond he can take you beyond any of the deities okay one more thing is that mars in a female horoscope can represent uh partner boyfriend things like that okay can represent partner boyfriend so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips